some people at Ferris noticed a need for a digital animation or a game-centered program, but there weren't a lot of things in the state for it at the time, so it was decided to try and get one started. The program started about 2003 with Marty Lear and Don Green, uh, came up with this idea of starting a game design program in animation. Uh, we had no idea it was going to be as successful as it has been, but uh, as the game design business has grown, so has our, our department, and animation, of course, just keeps going. The requirement to get in the program, obviously, is a good attitude, hard work ethic, um, ACT requirement of 19 or higher, as well as a high school GPA of 2.5. The workload is definitely um, high up there, but if you're motivated to get it done, that's the, uh, that's the biggest thing that really pushes you to go through. The workload in the DHD program is extreme, to say the least. Um, it is not recommended that you do more than two if you have to work outside of school. I think the best part about the DAGD program is, is the passion we can put into our art. And also, we're looking forward. We're not looking at art in the past. We're looking at art and, and what's happening in the future. I don't find it very difficult to find internships for my students because of the talent level, also because of our reputation. Whenever I look at curriculum and I look at other programs, having a forced internship is super important, especially when 90% or more turn into full-time jobs. So I already have a job at Frostburn Studios. It's in Kalamazoo, Michigan and um, I interned there over the summer um, and they brought me on as a contract freelancer um, post the internship. When I graduate, I'd like to work for a, you know, a game studio. Um, a lot of people have that dream of working in a studio. Students graduating our program go in many different areas. Some actually go into furniture de design, some go into automotive design, many go into game design, animation, special effects. It's a broad range. Class sizes are phenomenally small. We never go over 20 students. I enjoy the fact that it's really small. I mean, all the classes DADG has to offer is offered in just almost one hallway. The instructors are very open into being able to let you turn your focus to work with the class. So like, since I'm 2D, I would take the projects that they give us and incorporate my preferred medium into it as much as I could while incorporating the required medium. We have a pre-digital media degree we offer as well that feeds into digital animation and game design or a television production course or a software course we offer as well. The uh, DAGD Ferris in the Grand Rapids campus is a community college that we're actually housed inside of uh, Grand Rapids Community College, but we have uh, the state-of-the-art software. Uh, we have more of an urban type of vibe down here. The digital animation and game design program came to campus officially in 2015. This is our first semester for it up here at actual, actual full program. Uh, in the IRC building, room 121, I have enough seating for just lecture and then we have beautiful five pods of five, so five workstations and pods of five surrounding it. We're really excited about the Big Rapids campus. Uh, this was almost like a dream come true, where now we can ally ourselves with the uh, television production, PDMP uh, program, where we can start working together on visual effects and more narrative type of films uh, with animation and game, game elements uh, put inside it. So we're very excited about it. They could make something that benefits Ferris and see that stuff get used. Not only do the students get to put it in their demo reel, but we can say this was all made by Ferris on Ferris facilities for us. The Princeton Review is, I, I'm getting people from all over the country who see our name in there. Um, and so it's not just people in West Michigan, it's, we're getting students from all over the country. We're ranked number 16 in the country right now. Uh, two years ago it was 25. Uh, we have a stated goal of being a top 10 game design program in the country and uh, we work at the curricula to make sure that we refine it so perhaps we're going to get that goal. Fred tends to happen the second week of classes so, and it will happen in the fall as well in the spring. Fragfest has an amazing effect on students as it helps bond them together. All of a sudden they become teams and they work together for a common goal. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing, it creates unity and creates teamwork. This past one, there, oh, there was a Super Smash Brothers tournament. The name Fragfest comes from the fact that at one point we used to play first person shooters, specifically Unreal Tournament, where it was the students and faculty playing together. There's a game jam that is basically create a game in 24 hours. I believe this last time for this semester it was a pinball theme. So we took a large screen TV and turned it on its end 
and then put controllers on the bottom of the little cabinet, and they ended up making a virtual pinball game inside of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, I know one team actually finished the game all the way through. You could play and you could score points and all kinds of things. I think they had a little pirate theme, so you were actually playing the deck of a ship. It was all very cool stuff. And again, students, one day, finished game. I think the biggest recommendation I can give to anybody is just work hard. Whatever you want to do as far as like working in games, you know, if you want to do the art stuff, you want to do the programming stuff, you just want to make games and design, I think that's one of the biggest, um, biggest things is you just need to work hard. You know, you got to have that motivation, you got to have that drive, and uh, you'll make it one day.